Hey everyone, so it's uh, the next day after I made the video of installing the new intake and it's been raining and I've been using a lot of power which is good but I'm noticing that I think the standpipe is in the wrong place where we've moved the intake the air is now not getting out quick enough before it starts going down the pipe it does eventually but it takes a long time so I'm gonna just do an experiment just quickly moving the uh, the standpipe so about to get very wet and but I think it's gonna work so let's do it right we're up by the new intake um, I think the standpipe wants to go here really so I can get the air out before it heads down the hill um, so I'm going to disconnect this here, swap this fitting to where the standpipe is currently and switch them over from that where the standpipe is now has a join in it and where this is now the standpipe and we'll just see how that works about to get wet see the air coming out of there that's the problem, see? There's an airlock. You see that? All bubbling out. That's the problem. Right, let's get this off. The pipe is now going to drain. Almost lost the seal there. Ah, oh, right, that's done. Oh, sorry, you couldn't really see that. Sorry about that. But uh, I had to de disconnect it, connect the other side, and then connect it up again. It was easier to do it the other way around. Oh man, that's hard work, right? Let's get this other one connected back up.
Don't need to get wet. That's all you want to see. That's what you want to see. Yeah, it's sucking up that water. Just put a bit of a standpipe on here. Not a very big one. Just that, probably short length. Right, now filling. Let's see if we can get all the air out. I can hear all the air coming out. Where is that coming out? Is that coming out of that platoon? Yeah. Or is it not driven down? No, that is coming out of the fitting. That seems to be working a lot better. So I got a slight leak at the bottom of that fitting, but I'm gonna I'll sort that out if this works. But it looks like we're uh, getting rid of the air much better now. The uh, intake's burping away. Is what we want. Pipes wobbling about, see all the air comes out. We should see that start splashing out of there in a minute. So uh, all of the air is bubbling away, getting out, which is good. See if you can hear it. I don't know if you can see it, but you can hear, certainly hear it pretty. Yeah, it's all getting out, which is good. So we'll leave it to bleed, see if it uh, see if it does it better. Okay, we're just down at the turbine now, just watching that as it fills up. Just see if it uh, if we get any more pressure. Just let it. I'm just going to let it fill with everything off. And just see uh, see how it does. So if we're at around 25 psi, that means we're about getting fairly close to where the standpipe is now. Um, it's just down from the standpipe, so we'll see how it reacts. Once it gets to the standpipe, we should see it really go up quickly because um, because the air will be able to get out easier. So it's uh, finished filling, leveled off at the exact same place it was last time. So we haven't gained anything extra. There wasn't any major air lock, I don't think. Uh, so let's run it, see how it reacts, and go and see if there's much air coming out the standpipe. really need to fit, get a new motor for that so I can control that again. The motor burned out, I need to get a better one. Okay, well it's uh, it's still bubbling away, so I'm just going to let it do its thing, but it seems to be working. We're still getting air out of it, and I'm almost at full power what I had before. So, I think it's working better, but we'll see. Intake's doing great. I haven't cleaned that at all. Um, so yeah, where it's been bubbling, the back pressure and stuff's been clearing it, so it's not a perfect test. But it's, um, it, see, it's working great, basically. It, it is, it's clearing. Uh, it's been right it never before would run at full power for this long without me needing to clean it even with me clearing it using back pressure and stuff so it's working very well so far okay so the system has been bleeding for a while now um so hopefully all the air's out of it so i'm going to walk up now and have a look uh can't run a full power test rain's died down um this time of year if it's not actually raining uh the stream will die down very quickly after that in the winter you know you get days and days after a good rain before it starts to drop but this time of year like i say it just drops straight away so 
Uh, not going to be able to do a full power test, running at 400 watts at the moment, um, which is one nozzle off, so running at three quarters, so we're going to see if any air is getting in. I suspect it probably is, um, but it's only going to be getting in right near the intake. Uh, so I thought I'd address something. A lot of people are going to ask, uh, why not just, you know, run more water through the turbine? That's also an option. You know, I might drill out some of the smaller nozzles if I need more power. But at the moment I'm just trying to tune the system, get the system working really well. Um, and the best way to do that is by getting the water that we're currently already using to have to keep the most amount of energy in it. So once I have it to that point, if I want more power, I can drill out a nozzle, get more power. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to get it all tuned in and be perfect first. So the uh, intake isn't getting blocked, but it's doing fine, it's doing really well. I haven't cleaned that, but it's been like that now for, uh, to be honest I don't really know, I haven't cleaned it since yesterday I don't think, so it's doing really well and that's currently running at uh, 400 watts. So that is many, many, many times better than the old one. We're still burping some air through, um, it should be bled by now, the system. Um, so what that tells me is probably happening is I'm probably getting a vortex in there where the um, uh, The pipe comes out fairly close to where the uh, level of the water will be there might be a vortex sucking some air in there um, And then it's just bubbling out of there um, So it's not going far. But I think maybe like a baffle over the top to break up the vortex in case there's a vortex okay so we're up at the intake and I've taken off these screws I hope you can hear me okay because I've got the uh, cover on the camera uh, I've taken off the uh, plates on the front so I've still got um, filtering but I can lift this up and see what's happening inside and exactly what I thought was happening is happening it's uh, air is pushing down this is this, this falling pushing air into the pipe and it's also sucking a bit of a vortex. So you can see where that water falls down is exactly where the pipe is gonna be pulling that air in. So what it needs is some kind of baffling across there to spread that out. So I've got some bits of plastic, we're just gonna wedge them in there and see if it helps. Okay, so I've put uh, just a piece of pipe in here. It's just a piece of like PVC pipe. Um, it's pretty hard to get it to stay there and wedge it in, but I'm just doing an experiment at the moment. Um, but it seems to be holding. And I can sort of adjust it, it's two bits of half pipe. And it works best if it actually comes right up like that, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and wedge it in a bit and then we'll, uh, we'll see how it works. But it looks like that is helping a lot, so I can't see any air going down, which is exactly what we want. Right, let's uh, just get this wedged in a bit better and then we'll get it going. Okay, I've just put it back together a little bit. We've got the baffles in there and it seems to be doing a great job. I can see the air not going down there now. Let's go and see if there's air coming out the standpoint. So look at that, perfect. We've got the water right up to where it's supposed to be and I can't see any air bubbling out of that at all. That is perfect, brilliant. Okay, back up at the intake to check out how it's going. This is working excellently. You know, because because we've got that piece there, it's driving the water up. It's actually cleaning the screen better as well. So that is really good. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, this isn't gonna get blocked up with that like that. Like this will always be clear. So, really good, really pleased. Um, and I can tell I'm not going to poke my hands down in there now because it's running quite high flow, uh, about two and a half litres a second, and that I'm quite confident would suck my hand in. Um, so, yeah, really good little improvement that. It's only temporary, I'm going to have to do something better, but that is really good. Very pleased with that, very pleased. Because, yeah, like I say, it's forcing that water up a bit more, so it's cleaning better as well. You know, I, I go as far as to say that intakes need this unless you have a separation box. Okay, hey everyone, so it's a bit later in the day now, had a bit more rain. 
um, not quite enough to sustain it so um, it is dropping slowly but we haven't actually changed anything really um, which is interesting uh, although the pipe is now draining a little bit but we saw 480 482 at one point which is the same as it was before uh, which is interesting because it which basically says that that air getting in wasn't really changing anything um, which is interesting unless I am definitely going to add the baffle in permanently to the intake because it actually makes sense for it to be there because it, it can't be good for the air to get in it doesn't seem to make a considerable effect at the top end at least um, but it does seem like a good idea to have it there anyway <coughs> oh the cat oh come on cat sorry the cat the cat just went running across the computer so yeah it does seem to make sense to have it there so I'm gonna have it as a permanent feature um, because it also helps clean the screen as well so yeah well um, just I'm gonna monitor that see what it does and uh, just keep observing and keep making minor changes hey everyone so it is now the next morning and the turbine has run full power all night just duck under that tree yeah it's run full power all night um, so I'm just walking up there now to have a look at it. It hasn't made any difference putting the baffle in. Um, I think that might be, it should make a difference, at least a very small one. But I think it's uh, probably because there are more significant losses uh, to friction because of like the tapering down near the manifold that any change I make up there isn't actually doing much. Um, so I think it is still a good idea to have it because um, air getting in the pipe just can't be good no matter which way you look at it um, even if we don't see a uh, rise in power uh, air bubbles going down the tube is going to degrade the turbine quicker cause cavitation all kinds of issues so we definitely want to keep air out so I think the baffle is a good idea uh, so I think I'm going to incorporate that into the design um, but yeah the uh, standpipe didn't make any difference moving that but it has made the pipe uh, fill up worse so I'm actually going to change that back to where it was um, but yeah so baffle incorporated into the design sorry I'm a bit out of breath it's morning walking uphill um, and uh, I've got a cool um, thing coming that we're going to change on the intake so I'm going to be taking it out so I can make those changes when I take it out uh, it's a 3D printed coanda screen thanks to a subscriber uh, so yeah, let's go and have a look at the, the uh, intake and we'll have a little chat. Here we are at the intake. Uh, the screen has sagged a bit because it's not actually connected so it's collecting uh, more material than it would do normally. And the water's jumping. Like I say, it's because it's sagged where it's not actually connected down there. Um, so it's not a test of, uh, of, of clearing. Um, but you can see that the baffle is still working because it's pushing that water out. Let's have a look. It's running quite high at the moment, so I'm definitely not going to put my hands in there. Yeah, the baffle is doing its job, that's what we want to see. I can't see air or a vortex getting sucked down in there, so that's perfect. So yeah, I'm going to leave that here for now, that's a good test. I'm going to add a baffle to it because I just think it's better like that. And, uh, and we're going to be adding 3D printed Coanda uh, tiles to this. I'm uh, working on that at the moment. Uh, well, emailing a guy who's working on it for me <laughs> is more accurate. Uh, so yeah, that'll be coming soon. Right, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.